hello students welcome back to behs sumati academy this is your science teacher rasmi dikshit so we are learning the chapter 9 that is states of matter and their properties so in this chapter we have learned about the different forms of matter like solid liquid and gas and also its examples and as well as we have learned how the uh, changes are there it, in between the state means how solid will convert in liquid liquid to gas and gas to again liquid so now today we have to learn about the physical and chemical changes okay physical and chemical changes there are two types of changes in any matter so first what happen in physical changes means if i freeze the water if i freeze the water then it will become a ice then again if i uh, i will heat up the ice or i uh, then this ice again become as a liquid means i can again and again uh, change water into the ice and ice into the water means it is a reversible process so this is a ch physical change what happened when a physical change takes place no new substance is formed but there may be a change in the size shape and state of the substance means uh, in the physical changes no new substance is formed but the size and shape of the matter can be changed as well as the state of matter can be changed as in the by by freezing the water it is also a water but only the state of water is changing which is now a ice then again i or uh, and uh, in the physical change we can get back the main matter okay so this is a physical change now we have the chemical change so what happened in the chemical change a new substance is formed okay in the chemical change a new substance is formed and we can't get back the original substance okay this is a chemical change means any change which results in the formation of a new substance is called a chemical change chemical changes are not reversible as a new substance is formed means uh, what happened if i as in the picture you can see if we will fired or if we will fired the wood it will become as a ash can you uh, can we get ash uh, back into the fire into the wood no means uh, or one more thing if we are making the paper from the wood okay we all know that paper is made of wood uh, if we have made the paper with the wood wood is it possible to get back the wood from the paper no because the new uh, paper is a new substance okay paper is a new substance so what happened in the chemi chemical change uh, a new substance is formed and it is not a reversible process means we can't get back the original substance so if someone asks the difference between the physical and chemical change so main change is this in the physical change no new substance is formed while in the chemical change a new substance is formed okay then physical change is a reversible process means we can get back the original substance back but chemical change is not a reversible process okay chemical changes are not the reversible processes because we can't back we can't get back the original substance as a new substance is formed i have given you the examples uh, ash from the uh, after firing the wood paper from the wood so many things are there which we can't as if we have uh, if we will make curd from the milk so is it possible to get back the milk from the curd no because it is not possible that after making the curd we will get back the curd, uh, milk okay so it is also a chemical change means uh, in that pro um, process we can't get back the original uh, substance and uh, in place of original substance a new substance is formed that is a chemical change now we will meet in the next live class so thank you